One last look underneath. Motors mounted, their power right there. Also went ahead and greased up the gears while I had easy access to them. Then we got our deck made up. That'll hold the batteries and control board and everything else. It is uh, lifted off a little bit just because of, you know, the wheels come up over this frame. And then of course these holsters for the couplers, but That'll just set right on top. We'll have to feed the wires through here. And as far as our layout on the board up here, we are going to put the batteries on the ends. We did dabble with putting the batteries in the middle and then thinking about having the control board on the outside or towards one end. But then we went back to uh, how Plum Cove usually does it with a battery on each side and then putting the control panel, sliding it right in here. Uh, another reason for the batteries to be on the outside is because of these cross members right here. They're more in the center of the battery instead of having the batteries in the, in the center of the board. <laughs> we would likely have some sag over time, even with this, uh, you know, whatever this is, one by... Anyway... So there's we could put a cross member in here, but that would have been more work. <laughs> so anyway, we push the batteries out. And then we'll be able to take our lovely control board, control panel from Plum Cove. And for now, it'll slide in there real nice like, nice and sturdy. And if we really had to, we'd be able to, uh, you know, get some screws somewhere to fasten it down. And then on this side we have our on off switch. Once again, it's sturdy enough to, uh, we'll see, it kind of pulls up. So we'll see, we might fasten that in a little bit, but we have our controller right here, forward, backwards, couple of other doodads that we'll be using in the future. Um, and this will plug in right here. So for the batteries, came out negative here, and then our jumper wire from positive to negative, and then from positive here back to the board, and that makes it in series, which puts us at 24 volts, um, pushing out 24 volts. Of course, each battery is 12 volts, but because we're in series versus parallel, we are powering this properly, which needs 24 volts. All right, moment of truth. Hit this switch and uh, see what happens. All right, so here's the on switch, and we should hear a faint click when it goes on. All right. Not sure if I heard a click right away or not, but uh, <laughs> let's give it some juice. I'm gonna shut it off for now. All right, let's try that again. This time we have our controller ready for us. 
got some pretty lights. So on this controller, that's forward. This is backwards. <laughs> Let's see if we have it wired up properly. Uh, hopefully the wheels are just going... Uh, let's, hey, one second. Let's see if, um, hey. What are you doing? Elon, look at, watch the wheels. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Huh, got nothing so far.